A jury took just 15 minutes to clear Vincent McLean of voluntary manslaughter in connection to a 2018 officer involved shooting where Willie Marble was killed. The Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney's office confirmed to me over the phone that McLean is now facing new voluntary manslaughter charges in another case connected to a pregnant woman who died while in custody back in 2018. Just when Vincent McLean thought he caught a break, McLean has been indicted in connection to the death of 28-year-old Carmita Van Gilder, who died in a holding cell. I learned about that um, this morning while the grand jury was meeting. I got a, I have a copy of the indictment and We'll be helping Mr. McLean again. News 3 spoke to McLean's attorney, Michael Macy, who represented him in the case where he was found not guilty in the death of Willie Marble. Court documents say Carmita Van Gilder was arrested on an outstanding warrant in December of 2018. Court records say Van Gilder told officers, including McLean, that she was sick. She threw up in a patrol car and in the holding cell and repeatedly asked for water and help. Records say police didn't immediately call 911 or take her to the hospital. In 2021, the city of Portsmouth agreed to pay her parents $550,000 in a wrongful death settlement. In the case where McLean was found not guilty in connection to the officer-involved shooting death of Willie Marble, McLean did not fire the shots that killed Marble. But prosecutors argue that since McLean did not provide CPR, he was responsible for Marble's death. The allegation was that uh, he did not perform CPR. And their allegation was that had he performed CPR, Mr. Marable would have lived. But the evidence did not point in that direction. And the jury agreed, taking only 14 minutes to find him not guilty. We are working to learn when McLean will turn himself in for the manslaughter charges in the death of Carmita Van Gilder. We will bring you those updates as we learn more. I'm Leandra Head, News 3.